Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kinele Mioli and if you're here for the first time, welcome. I hope that you will like it, share and subscribe on the red button down below to become part of the family. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and for your continued support. Today's video, I've decided to spoil mummies and share with them the essential items that they will need for their newborn babies. This is mostly for babies that are in between zero and three months but some items you can lose for quite longer so most of the items i'm still using till this day so let's get right into it so the first item i made a list of about 20 items that i think are important some items i didn't include because i don't think they are essentials so i don't think they must have but some just make your life a bit easier so i think i'll do a video on that as well so first one would be these cotton pads so these are the cotton pads this pack i got from clicks as you can see it has a clicks brand and these we use for bathing baby when they're born because some um, face cloths might be harsh on their skins so this was recommended by the nurses that were training us when we went for the antenatal class i still want to do a video on that actually on what we were taught and whether it was useful or not so yeah these are used quite a lot until my son was about a few months old actually yeah until he was about a few months old so stock up on these this came and clicks normally have like a sale where you get a lot of them at once and the quality is the same and you also use this for putting the surgical spirit on the umbilical cord after baby was after baby is born so that brings me to the next item which is surgical spirit show you so yeah this is the discam brand this is one of the old ones actually we had it for a while um so the surgical spirit like i said you will use it with a cotton pad to um put uh, on baby's umbilical cord to remove it and also if you've had a c-section i'm not sure about a natural birth but if you had a c-section you need to put this on um the um, the place where they operated you also on the c-section wound yeah, so i had one for myself and i had one for zucania i don't want to mix mine with his but you do need this until the umbilical cord falls off that's two items item number two i made a list so that i don't forget um item number three are these um it's wipes basically and you need you preferably need to use the unscented ones because babies tend to react to scented items so i've always used these um pure huggies i'm a huggies mom <laughs> i always use these i like buying these in bulk as well like you can get a packet of i normally buy 12 of them from baby city and a pack of 12 is 200 rand and if baby's small you won't be using too many of these so yeah so next item would be okay this is zucania's current nappy you will definitely need like a much smaller nappy for baby and try not to buy too many newborn ones if you really really need to buy a newborn just maybe buy one or two packets but after that rather buy from is it zero to three months or one month yeah but not newborns because those can be small very quickly and this one i've always used um huggies as well i i think someone recommended that i buy the pampas premium ones if you're a new mom because 
it shows you it has like a wetness indicator so they normally show you that they have like um stripes and the color will change when baby has is wet so if you're a new mom maybe buy that but i think if i remember properly also the Huggies ones that size zero newborns they also have like a wetness indicator so they also have but i think once you size up from the Huggies option they don't have wetness indicators if i'm wrong please correct me in the comment section down below and let other mummies know so yeah so i think from my hospital bag like i said i bought pampers premium but at the hospital they give you hospital bag as well and they had size zero or newborns for like the Huggies brand and it also had a witness indicator so I was so happy about that um the next item the f how many items have I shown you one two three four <laughs> item number five is bum cream <laughs> so this is my favorite bum cream it was recommended by my boss she told me that her son never ever had um nappy rash and they were using this since he was born so we use repentin it's quite pricey though there are other options i think there's a pseudo cream one and then there's the Bennett one which is cheaper i know some mummies also use like vaseline like the normal pure vaseline and they say it's amazing but for me this is my rider die guys and my son never really had um nappy rash until recently and he's almost two but <laughs> guys it's a story for another day but i think the nanny was either um, taking some for herself or not putting it properly but he has never ever had nappy rash until with this nanny and it was quite recent so this is my ride or die and this is around 250 to 300 yeah let's say 230 to 300 depending on where you buy it it lasts as well depends on how you use it but when baby is smaller you won't be using a lot so this is must have it's the panthen this is the biggest size and you can find it at your um drug stores or pharmacies like um, just came takes and other baby stores like baby city and babies are us also have it so do invest in this look out for the specials as well they will help and the next item is this it's epimax baby this is how it looks and epimax baby we use it to bath Sukanye, my son and to also moisturize him this was recommended as well at the antenatal class for the nurses because babies, like I say, they tend to react to um, scented pro products. And also, if they have things like eczema, this will help. This will help baby. It says gentle and mild omelette moisturizer for all skin types. So hypoallergenic, fragrance and coloring free and yeah, it has glycerine as well so this you can also buy the fancy stuff if you want uh, but just to be safe i also think that this is also a very good product um we, we had other things like when i was preparing for my baby i bought things like baby dove because you know dove a lot of influencers at the time <laughs> were using baby dove i think yeah they were using baby dove and i was like oh this looks cute my baby will be using dove and i got to the internet class and they were like use epimax on your baby so this it's you use it to bath baby with like a soap let me show you guys how it looks so can you still using it i'm not sure if you can see okay probably not but it's like a moisturizer so you bath him with it and after bathing even his hair guys even the hair okay now it doesn't work anymore because i think i feel like when they're older and the hair becomes a bit coarse this doesn't really help with the scalp and if he is african it doesn't really work for their hair but to bath and moisturize till this day guys i remember even when zucanya turned one i decided to change to other products and his skin started changing and it became dry and we went back to his pediatrician and he started saying um, we should go back to Epimax baby bathing him because 
other products also they remove the moisture from baby skin so that's why they end up becoming so dry so i went back to bathing and moisturizing him with it because at the time i stopped bathing him with it so this is a plug <laughs> guys i'm so passionate talking about these things oh. but yeah and i'm not sure guys i haven't kept count and another thing that i would recommend is telement colic drops if your baby is constantly constantly crying guys this it might be colic i think i'll do that in another video just to talk about my experience and colic but this helped us so much and also you know how um when a baby has hiccups instead of giving them gripe water because there's so many debates about gripe water it has too much alcohol it's not good for baby it has this it has that and the nurse that was helping us with sukanyi suggested that we rather use this and also when he had colic we were using this and to this day when he has hiccups if he's not drinking water because sometimes we try to give them water and they don't want i go back to this so definitely get this i can't remember how much this is but i think it's around 100 grand from discount and clicks and other places but yeah i'll try to insert also like a picture from online to show you how the box looks so even a friend of mine recommended i oh know she recommended Ritalina drops <sighs> i think guys i have the box in another room i forgot i'll take a picture and add it here somewhere please buy um Ritalina drops as well it will help with colleague and it's a probiotic till this day we still use it it's a bit expensive i think it's around 200 rand but it will help you ladies and baby a lot during colleague times and it's a pro probiotic so even when babies older and you take them to crash it can help you know a probiotic i think it says it gives you like the germs that you need so that you can fight off the other ones if i'm not mistaken <laughs> but yes retina drops i should have bought them actually but i'll just add a picture because my son still has them another thing that you will need is a baby grow i don't have i picked the kind of small clothes away and i gave most of them away as well it's a baby grow if you can um, find ones with a zip, like the ones that you zip up, rather do that because you change babies a lot at night. My knees. I was feeding and changing my son every three hours because it was a preemie and it was recommended. So at night when you're half asleep, you don't want to be unbuttoning. Like it can take long, you can do it. But if you have ones, you can just please invest in those ones. We got ours from Woolworths. If I find a picture of them as well, I can insert insert the picture. But if not, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and another one is a receiving blanket or a receiver blanket. So these, you will wrap baby up. It's cold when you're at the hospital, when you're leaving the hospital. Receiving blankets are always um essential also remember baby was in your tummy and they were warm and so the moment you wrap them with a receiving blanket it just makes them warm and then they might fall asleep <laughs> you know how they don't like sleeping so this you always need a couple of these we had them we still have a lot of them actually a towel okay this is one of Zucania's towels as well most of these baby towels have this thing so you can put on this head as well so when you're bathing baby when you take them out of the water just wrap them with a towel i think this is important you don't need to buy a baby towel just buy any towel if you are thinking of a budget another thing that is very 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 important my mate a thermometer this is very important for if baby is feeling a bit if um the baby's temperature is a bit high or you need like if he's feeling hot and you're not sure how they're doing just check the temperature if it's above a certain number then you know that this is serious let me take baby to er or let me call baby's pediatrician or something but this will help so this one i think you just put it under baby's arm and keep it there you'll press it and then hold it in baby's underarm and when it makes a sound, just check what the temperature is. Um, should I check for you guys what the normal temperature should be for babies? I forgot. 
so i'm just checking on google now and it says um normal temperature for babies is 36.5 and if it's below 35 it's abnormal and if it's above 38 39 it's also abnormal um if you have experience with this mummies please let me know like if you let's say you went to a doctor and the baby's temperature was above or beneath a certain number please let other mummies know in the comment section down below i've always checked my son's temperature and there's never been a time where i was really really worried and rushed into the er but i know that as a mom these things happen and some mummies have actually taken their babies to the hospital because of this so mummies another item that i think is very important is a um, um, nasal spray or uh, nose hygiene i have this particular one this one says yeah it just says nose hygiene i think there's ones where we have like blocked nose they're written like they're written different things here on top but I have this one, I think it does a bit of everything. So when baby is he, when baby's nose is blocked and baby's struggling to breathe, you just spray this in their nose. And this one I love it because it has a smaller nyana, you see. Um top part where it can fit into a small baby's nose. So you just like spray their nose and it'll just take out all the stuff that's stuck like the mucus that's preventing baby from breathing because you know babies can't blow their own nose so this will come in handy and if this has doesn't do all the work you can pair it with um, another item that i think is very important a nasal aspirator so this is the one that we have for zucchini and what i love about this one is that you can open it like this and you can open it to clean it inside because the mucus can go all the way down or it can get stuck in here so you can just clean it every time after using wash it and yeah so what you basically do with these two items is you will spray baby's nose with this put this in baby's nose <laughs> should I, you, you know put it in baby's nose like this and then you once it's inside baby's nose you press it and then you release and normally when you release you'll hear like a sound so it sucks out the mucus that's stuck in baby's nose i still use it for zucchini because sometimes like his nose is blocked so he has a lot of mucus and he doesn't know how to blow his nose so he to do this but it doesn't come out so this is amazing i absolutely love it another item that i think you should get is this he doesn't look too clean i'm sorry that's because we still use it this is a nursing pillow i bought this for breastfeeding normally you're gonna put it like this on top of yourself and you're gonna put baby so that baby can latch sorry guys so you're gonna put it like this so the baby can latch properly and have support <laughs> i'm gonna keep standing up because my phone is a bit high and so that baby can latch another thing that i saw is you can make baby sleep on this i actually saw it at the restaurant a baby was sleeping and the mom just put a baby on this comfortably and even now zucchini when he falls asleep or when i'm changing his nappy and stuff i put him on this thing last but not least is nappy bag <laughs> So this nappy bag i got it from take a lot i think i had it i got it on sale for around 200. what's nice about this nappy bag is that it has this like a backpack part so when you're carrying baby for example you're alone you're carrying a baby with your hands or um with um what is that thing called baby carrier you can put this on your back when your arms are occupied because as a mom your arms are always occupied just get this bag i feel like i absolutely love it it has so many it has a zip here it has a zip here it has these pockets on the side even inside it has so many compartments so many compartments we still have these actually we still have these guys i feel like i'm always gonna add stuff oh. yeah okay let me show you guys I'm adding, I added the retweet drops and now I'm adding something else. This thing, a nappy changer, oh, came in so handy. So, you know, like when you're in a public space, for example, and you're with baby and you don't want to put them like, 
where everyone was using you're gonna have this or when you visit like your family and you have baby with you instead of asking for their towel or use your own baby receiver because you may need it for later you're always gonna have something like the sanapi changer to just put baby on so that they don't pee or poop on <laughs> On your family or your friends bed or couch or whatever you're using to change them from you can also use um, linen savers guys I'm so passionate about this topic you can also use linen savers instead of this and the linen savers you're gonna use when you have a c-section or after giving birth to lie on it so you can also use it as a nappy changer so I think there's everything if there's everything that i forgot and you want me to know about it please do share my comment section down below i really hope that you mommies enjoyed this video if you know someone is pregnant who's expecting a baby please share this video with them i'm sure it'll help someone like the video if you enjoyed it it's very important it will help spread this video to those that need it and until the next one bye